The study took place in the Blue Mountains of Northeastern Oregon. And the carnivores we were interested in studying were black bears, bobcats, cougars, and coyotes. So early on in the study, we hypothesized that cougars were probably the dominant predator species in this system. First, we deployed GPS collars on a sample of each of the carnivore species. We put out about 51 collars total. And in addition to that, we analyzed carnivore scats. We visited cougar kill sites to determine what species they were preying on. And at some of those locations, we deployed trail cameras to monitor scavenging behavior by other carnivores. We found that coyotes were actually not avoiding cougars. In fact, we found the opposite. They were very strongly attracted to these kill sites and they were coming in to scavenge from more than 90% of, of the, the kill sites that had a, a large herbivore. So out of the coyote scats that we analyzed, we found that the vast majority of them contained elk. And we don't think the coyotes are killing elk themselves, we think they're scavenging from cougars. And then the GPS collars also showed us um, that something similar was happening. So coyotes were actually avoiding cougars in time and space, but they were very attracted to the kill sites. And so we saw a very strong attraction of the GPS collared coyotes to these kill sites. This is a predictive map from a habitat selection model that looked at how coyotes used the landscape. And one of the most important variables in the model was the distance to a cougar kill site. So you can think of this as a type of heat map where the warm colors show areas that coyotes are most likely to use. And here we're assuming that there is a cougar kill site at the center of the map. And we can see that coyotes were initially very attracted to it, but after about 30 days, that source of attraction went away. But interestingly, the reward that coyotes get from scavenging does not come without risk. So when we visited these cougar kill sites, we found that at about 7% of these sites, the prey item was actually a coyote. And so after factoring in the number of coyotes in the area, the number of cougars in the area, and the rate at which cougars were killing coyotes, we estimated that as much as 20% of the coyote population is being killed annually by cougars. So for example, um, we had one GPS collared coyote that routinely scavenged from a particular GPS collared cougar. And um, that only happened so long before the, the coyote was actually killed by that, by that cougar. So this picture does a fantastic job exemplifying some of the findings of the study shows how the prey that cougars kill can be a huge source of attraction to coyotes, but the coyotes can incur risk from attempting to scavenge. And then in the next video, you can see the cougar chases the coyotes off, and in this case, they get away unharmed, but that's certainly not always the case. Here's a great sequence of a coyote feeding on a deer that was killed by a cougar before it's abruptly spooked off. And then less than 60 seconds later, the cougar is photographed feeding on its kill. So again, a coyote really has to decide how much risk it's willing to incur to get a free lunch. So one of the unfortunate things is that we could not determine whether there is a net positive or a net negative benefit to coyotes coming from cougars. And it's just not quite as simple as saying that the dominant species always suppresses the subordinate ones. Because as we found, coyotes are both positively and negatively affected by cougars. So another interesting finding was that not all of the species were so attracted to cougar kill sites. So bobcats, for example, were never observed feeding on a cougar kill site, and their scats 
did not ever contain elk. And so they were seemingly completely un uninfluenced by cougars altogether. Black bears were somewhere in the middle. Um, they scavenged a lot less than coyotes, um, and that was reflected both in the trail camera monitoring of the kill sites. So overall, what this tells us is that the different carnivore species have variable strategies for managing this risk-reward trade-off from scavenging from a dominant predator like a cougar.